This is another uh, third stop tutorial basically on how to chop your samples in Reason using the NNXT sampler as opposed to um, chopping your, your uh, samples in say Recycle. A lot of people think you can't sample without Recycle and Reason or you can't chop your samples up and that's not true and I'm going to show you how to do it and it is a bit tedious and so um, I don't recommend it if you have recycle but um, if you don't you can still you know chop up the same sort of way it just takes a little bit longer so right now we have the NXT loaded up we're gonna go to the remote editor here on the bottom just click the little triangle looking thing go to load sample I'm just gonna load a random sample so when you start out um, and just load a sample when you hit it it changes pitch now that's not too useful for most people in terms of sampling records so um, you can either take this line here and move it around till you get what you want or you can just go to these high low key I want to set the high key at C3 and the low key at C3. Now it's only on one key so if I hit other keys nothing happens. So what I'm gonna do is copy this move it over do it a couple times just move it over one key so now I have the same sample on four keys so we're going to take the second one and start chopping it so we want to take the it's got the start and end points I only usually mess with the start points so instead of starting here And then we do the third key. Now I'm not trying to make a song, but you get the basic idea. So basically, you just set your start point. You know, I could set an end point for this one too. So. I might just want so that's probably where I'd want it so you can kind of see where you go with that we'll just keep on copying and pasting them and chop your little chops out and uh, you know, if you do it all the time, it's pretty simple. I recommend you do not use long thing like long songs. You try to do it on something that's a minute and a half. Some it's just not precise enough to chop to where you want it, so you'll have problems with that. But if you have a little loop or something, eight bar, four bar loops, even a sixteen bar loop might work. You know, just mess around, see what happens, and yeah, so that's a way to chop using the in and XT with no other programs outside of reason all you need to do is have a wave file so no recycle none of that so anyways hope that helps some of you out